we produce a material with similar mechanical properties to medium density fiberboard, but we make it out of potato waste. So we get uh, different waste streams from the production of chips from McCain and we process them separately. So they'll come to us as a big barrel of starch or a big barrel of peels. Um, we'll process that so there's some biological processes that will happen, there's several separation processes that happen, and then it's all thermochemical reactions that end up bringing the whole product together. First we have this, so it's a, um, it's a button pillow, so the button in this, um, in this case is chips board, or CSB, um, and this was an early on prototype of uh, how we can use our material within the fashion industry, so this actually um, come on with development, we've created uh, these buttons. It's a, it's a plastic, so it's a bioplastic material made using the same waste stream. As you can see, it's got um, a lot nicer finish, uh, shinier, and it just has a lot more fashion-esque look. And we also have this, which is a, uh, a mould experimentation. So with the same material, we are able to put it within patterned moulds and it sort of just shows the versatility of the material that it doesn't actually have to be a flat 2D sheet, it can be 3D, it can be tangible and you can really sort of make the material your own, you can do what you want with the material at its raw stage. We wanted to be able to create a product that isn't bad for the user, isn't bad for the environment at it, the, when you come to dispose of this material and uh, also relies on circular economy principles, so we take materials that otherwise would just be disposed of and try and create value from them.